Hey fellow spying here. Welcome to the last episode of the King Tiger Project. And before we start, a really fast recap for anyone who hasn't seen the previous two videos in which I made well seams, applied two primers, sprayed camouflage and created chippings. And in this one, we'll continue on the weathering steps and then see how the King Tiger came out eventually. Let's find out. The majority of the weathering effects are done by oil colors. The pale and matte finish of the camouflage is really great for oils to be absorbed and it is more like painting pictures at this stage where I try to enhance the saturation, contrast and make it more interesting. It's been an amazing journey during the last three weeks and uh, I'd like to say thank you for all your great responses during that time. You guys have been awesome. 